Yeah, super excited to really show this to the world, uh, the 2150S, so the newest member of that 2000 series family of early riser planners. So bringing across that 2000 series uh, early riser row unit uh, with all those agronomic design traits and packaging a little bit differently for customers that are really looking for that narrow row offering, but also that adjustability or flexibility maybe for 30 inch row spacing as well. So we've got this in 15 row inch, 15 inch row offering, so a 40 foot offering, a 30 foot offering, then we've also got a 24 row 20 inch offering as well. So it's so really five different models that we're bringing to or configurations of the 2150S model that we're bringing to the marketplace. So 2150S, additional features, right? We're, we've got those 30 inch row units uh, on the mainframe. We've got a rear subframe that's going to be hydraulically controlled from the cab, adjustable in terms of down pressure. So in those tough soil conditions, high clay content, maybe some compacted soils, cover crops, those types of things, we're going to be able to make sure that those rear row units that are splitting those 30 inch row units, giving us that 15 inch row spacing, have a solid foundation to work off of and achieve depth, optimizing right that seed placement that customers are looking for. So all going to be hydraulic. We do have the option for air as well. So we'll see some customers, maybe it's going to be a bean only planter for them. They're going to want to maybe spec that down a little bit and we're going to go down to an air solution. Now it's a smart air solution, so I still have that feedback in the cab. Good operators are going to have to make that adjustment based off that feedback that's provided to them in the cab. And we don't want to, we don't want to just classify it as a corn soybean machine. That's probably going to be the most commonplace use, but really the whole gamut of crops, whether that's going to be canola, whether that's going to be an edible bean, the smaller edible beans, we can do those navies, pintos, but corn, soybeans, we've even got wheat offerings as well. So those customers that are putting down some wheat, maybe as a cover crop or rye as a cover crop as well, we can do that as well in that 15 inch row spacing for them. Productivity, right? We want to talk that with customers all the time. Growers ask us about, hey, I want more productivity, more, more productivity out of my machine. And so less time filling, more time with, with putting seed in the ground, you know, your operator is in the seat and, and driving that machine. So 50 bushel capacity out of each tank, so a total of 100 bushel capacity. And you'll see now with an optional scale for right and left tanks. So that customer that's doing those smaller fields, make sure you can finish off the last two, three acres. He's got that product on board. I know it because those scales are going to tell me. Liquid capacity, piece of that as well. I don't want to be filling that all the time. We've got a number of different application points, whether it's in furrow, out the back, or even a frame mounted two by two coulter, we can do those options. But we get into those, we start consuming more liquid product. So now we want to carry more on board. So 525 gallon liquid product matches well with that 100 bushel capacity for kind of that fill ratio between the liquid and, and the seed product. So find out more information, visit your local KSIH dealer or KSIH.com.